duckies, Andy Lippy here. Sorry it's been a little while. I've taken a little time off because I've been a little bit ill, a little bit under the weather, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm back, back up and fighting. I don't sound like I'm dying now, so that's always a good sign. And no, it wasn't the thing that you think it is, all right? It wasn't. I promise. I promise. I did a test. We're cool. We're cool. So, a lot of things have happened in these few days off. I think it's been about four days. There is new plugins left, right, and center. Excel has been absolutely smashing it out of the park. And a question you guys have asked me a ton of times is now finally getting answered. Can I copy my scenes, my sources, my filters to a different scene collection? Yes. Let's get right into it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Right, so the plugin in question is the Source Copy plugin, which is by Exceldro. You can get it straight away from the OBS website just here. Make sure you do leave the gentleman a lovely review because this plugin is absolute fire. As you can see, super easy to use. I'm just going to run you through how to get it all working. So we're going to press Download in the top right just here. And you can choose which version you want. It's for Mac, Linux, Windows, or Windows Installer. Uh, you can use the Windows Installer if you like, but I'm going to show you how to manually install it in case you have any issues uh, you just press download on the zip file just here and that will download this bad boy open that up and you'll get two folders in there data and obs plugins we're just going to copy both of them Control c and we just go to this pc just here go to local disk program files or program files 86 it does depend uh, mine's in program files and then down to obs studio or lowercase and we just paste directly into there and it'll say the destination is five files in if you are updating it this will say this if not just say yeah that's cool to go and it'll ask for admin privileges i do recommend using the installer though because it is like next 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 done but for any issues at all you can manually install it like that so once all that's installed we can jump into obs and uh, i've just got basic scene just here using a display capture and my sexy webcam define sexy webcam uh we just go up to tools and you can see that you've got it installed if you can see the option source copy just here and this is where the fun begins so this might look quite a large menu depending on how many scenes you've got because it basically lists all your scenes there in front of you as you can see test scene just here for instance if i go and create another scene and i'll call it um just scene two for now and i go back up to tools go to source copy you'll see scene two is there as well so this is how it works we can basically save scenes we, we can uh, uh, copy a scene so for instance if i press uh, save scene now we can save the actual json files so if you guys have seen my previous tutorials talking about how json files work that's basically how obs holds all the information so all of your scene sources filters are stored in a json format so i can save that if i wanted to and i'm going to call it to uh, the test scene just here and we're just going to save that to my desktop but later on if i go back up to tools uh, and go to source copy again i can actually load a scene in so if i press load scene now we can choose the json file that we just saved so test scene just here if i open that up you'll see it's actually created another scene just there called test scene and you're you're thinking yeah but i could just right click on this and duplicate anyway just like so like why, why would i ever need to do that what there's like no point to it at all so let's just change scene collection so i'm going to create a new scene collection completely blank i'm going to call it blank press it okay and we've just got a blank scene just here now if i go up to tools go to source copy load scene test scene as if by magic all the sources everything is there exactly the same as the other scene so i'm going to go back to my previous scene collection now my untitled one so right if we go to tools again and go to source copy there's different things in here we can actually just copy a scene as well so if i rather than uh, if i just want to add it to another scene collection really quickly so if i go to scene two and press copy scene uh, that's basically just doing control c on the whole entire scene so if i go back to now my scene collection and go to blank so we're changing the scene collection completely we've got scene test scene we go up to tools source copy and we'll do paste scene and you'll see scene two has appeared in there there wasn't anything in there though so it wasn't really a great example but this this is the content that you come here for right that's how it is so now we can start messing about with some filters so if i right click on this sexy webcam add a filter in uh, and say if i want to do a blur effect on it for instance we'll use blur 
and I'll blur it right out because that's what we need. And I'm just going to do dual filtering so it doesn't like destroy my uh, CPU and my GPU. Press close, and we've got a blurred webcam like that. We go up to tools, source copy, go down to test scene. We can then see all, uh, we can load filters, load sources. So if I go down to my sexy webcam, because that's the source that you can see just down below, just here. So source copy, then into test scene into sexy webcam you've got save source so i can save that individual source and all the parameters on it like we did previously with a scene i can copy the source like we did previously i can also load filter paste filter so if i go down to blur you can see i've got a save and copy filter so if i save it it'll save it to a text file again so if i do um um a blur filter if i really like the way that i've set up a filter i can just do that and then when I go over to my new scene, uh, scene collection, sorry, the blank one, and I want to add that filter to the display capture, what I'm going to do is go up to f uh, tools, source copy, and go down to test scene, because that's the one that we're on, go down to display capture, and I can just do a load filter, go blur filter, as if by magic, it's blurred that out. How cool is that? So, right, you can save all your presets in folders. Yeah, this is going to be really useful for the stream up stuff that we've been doing because there's some cool stuff coming your way. Uh, so, Excel has blasted this one out of the park. And that is the same if we wanted to, to copy and paste as well. So, it just means that no matter where you are, you can just copy an individual filter, load a filter in. So that's pretty much all there is to the plugin. It's quite straightforward and simple. I mean, the first time I installed it, I was a little bit overwhelmed by the menus because there's a lot. I've got a lot of scenes. Uh, so, for instance, if I, if I was to show you that, you, you'll see. Wow, that looks kind of a little bit crazy. This was uh, not planned, so I'm just opening it up now. And you might have just heard that. Ho hopefully you didn't, because it'll ruin it. But if I go up to tools on this one, you'll see I've got a ton of scenes in here. Look how many scenes and things I've got because I do a lot of my testing and stuff live on, on Twitch. So if we go to source copy, you'll see, wow, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of stuff. But I can copy a whole entire scene and move it somewhere else if I want. So my just chatting scene, for instance, on my be right back screen, I can just copy that scene and I can paste it over onto a new scene collection if I want. So go to uh, rotate. What is even rotate? Wow. Yeah, there's some cool stuff lurking about paste scene as if by magic i'll be right back scene is all there ready to go so like i say it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're first looking at it but don't let that kind of just just get used to the menu i know it can be quite overwhelming just just don't worry about it the more you use it the the more you'll understand and it's good to a good way to back everything up as well so rather than just backing up a whole scene collection if you're really happy with the scene and you never want to kind of lose it you can just back up that scene now and as long as you don't get rid of any images that you've been using or anything like that it's all going to be retained in that json file it's going to save me so many things especially when i'm exporting and testing new things for stream up and different things like that it's just going to save so much ball ache and yeah, it's just honestly, you'll love it, okay? So make sure you do drop Exceldro a cheeky little like on there, five stars, rate it, bang it out on there, get it downloaded, have some fun with it. If you want to support me, consider joining Patreon or being a channel member here on YouTube because these videos take me a little while to do and it's all free. Anything that I ever do is all completely free for you and it'll just help support me, all right? Put your rock on the stone, I'll see you in the next one. Much love, baby! I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.